My, my children, of course, because I want to leave a legacy for them, you know, my grandchildren. But for me, mainly, it's, it's me. Um, I became the, the main reason why, because I needed to do something. I needed to finish something. I needed to see myself in a space other than where I was. And I, I wanted to inspire myself to, to do some things that I had never done before. And for me, it's all about me just, you know, being proud of myself and stepping out of my comfort zone and, and doing some things that, you know, I wouldn't otherwise do. So, yeah. That. Well, what keeps me going, um, again, is, is the fact that I want to master myself. And in order to master myself, I have to constantly um, be intentional about everything that I do. It's not always easy because, you know, you're you're living life and, and um, certain circumstances happen as you're living, but you're still trying to keep in the forefront of your mind that um, I want to make sure that I'm walking in love. I want to make sure that um, I'm doing the things that I need to do in order to be successful. Um, that I always continue to have a mindset of success. Um, but there are some, some things that happen in life as, as far as your everyday life, things that may happen, and you still have to change those those situations around or not allow them to infect you, as, as one of my favorite people on the planet says. Um, yeah, you have to, you know, tr try not to allow those moments to infect you in what it is that you're doing. So in this particular space that I have been in, it's about me, and it's been for quite some time, um, about me learning to love myself and, and about me learning to go within and to develop those areas that um, I wouldn't say that are weak, but I would say that are under, underdeveloped. So I've been in the space where I've, I've, I've just been constantly working on myself because I feel that it's always a need to do so. You know, in order for you to, to climb higher, every day we're making mistakes. Every day we're making mistakes. So if we're, you know, making these mistakes and we're not learning from them, then we're not working on ourselves. Then we're not developing ourselves. Basically what we're doing is just walking around doing without a cause, without a, a reason, without a statement, without a platform, without anything. Um, so I'm constantly, working on myself. There, there's nothing, um, I believe, that's different about me per se. I believe that we all possess the same um, qualities in order to to um, reach our, our, our hopes, dreams, and our, and our goals. Um, I believe, I truly believe that um, God made us in his likeness and image, which means that I'm not trying to say that, you know, we are gods, but if we're made in his likeness and his image, we are pretty much made of the same stuff that he is. So if we are acting lower than um, we were, than we were created to be, I almost think it's like a slap in God's face to, to be less than or to be mediocre when he did not create us to be that way. We are creators, so everything that we do, we have creativity within us. And if we don't um, move into those different spaces that allow us to be more creative, then, then it's like living a life that um, is just mediocre. And I, per se, don't want to live that kind of life. I want to always be in a space that I am moving forward, um, not in linear movements where I'm moving from this space to this space, but I'm not gaining any ground. That's not the type of life that I want to live. Every time that I do something, it's to um, gain more footage. Um, to what I would consider to be that mountain. An intuitive space about where it is that I need to be. Um, I may not see the entire bridge, but I may see a couple of steps. But I believe that, that God does not allow me to see the entire thing because if I do, I would probably feel overwhelmed and probably wouldn't even start. So I think that's his way of saying, okay, get started. This is, you know, this is, 
um, steps one through three. So then when I do steps one through three, then four through six might come, or four through 10 might come. Um, it just depends, but I never see the entire finished product um, at first. I, I never do. I make sure that I know what it is that I want the end result to be and I try and take steps to to gain ground on those end results because although although we are always trying to move in different spaces I always want to make sure that I am placing myself in places that I've never been before or situations that I've never been before um, because what happens is sometimes we become comfortable when we continuously do the same things. So each time that I do something, I make sure that it's done on a different level or it's done with different people. So I don't always, you, you won't always see me around the same people all the time. Um, and you won't always see me in the same spots all the time. You'll see me in different places because I like to do things, you know, keep it fresh and do things different. I like to take risks. I like to um, put myself out there. I like to put myself in spaces that are uncomfortable. That's the only way for me that I can grow and I have to ensure that I grow.